We're here with Robert Garcia. Robert, uh, how far along has Brandon come uh, since you first met him to, to how he is now? Look, Brandon, being the, being the kid that I met uh, 11 years ago, uh, when, uh, when, when, when he was fighting in the, uh, in the uh, Olympic trials, the kid that was always getting in trouble, the kid that uh, when I brought to Oxnard still had bad habits, still wanted to go out and drink, get into street fights. Uh, the kid that uh, I would have in Oxnard and then for a weekend he would go home and next thing I would get was a phone call telling me that he was in jail, that, uh, that he was going to be able to come back for a couple of months because he was going to do some time in jail. To now, you know, 11 years later, he's, uh, you know, he's still the same kid. He still plays around. He still jokes around. He's still, he's still a dirty, <laughs> a dirty person. <laughs> but, uh, but as a person, he's changed. You know, now that he's married, he's got his wife, he's got his kids, he's got a couple, a couple properties, uh, money. He has changed. He has matured a lot. He's still the same kid. He's still a kid that wants to play, joke around. But uh, when it comes to being a family man, he has changed a lot. He uh, he doesn't do things that he's you know I don't I don't I think he hasn't he hasn't drank a beer in years since he got married. So that's something that I I really like because before it was every weekend mm. drinking and uh, like I said going home going to jail all the time. Yeah, no, just it seems like overall mature just as a person and oh, a professional. Oh, I, I, I know. That, yeah. He's told me stories that you know when he was a, an amateur there was there was quite a few. I don't know every fight, but quite a few fights where he where he fought high. You know what I mean? You know, mm. and that's uh, that's something that uh, wasn't good. I'm thinking the was good thing that happened to him was come to Oxford. Yeah, yeah. No, def um, now that you're here uh, out in Riverside, was that um, was was it just a better location for you to train out of here as opposed to Oxnard, or Look, why uh, is the camp here? What happened? Uh, my dad moved to Riverside about six years ago, and since since he moved over here, he always told us, me, my brothers, my sisters, you guys should try it. You know, Riverside is nice, big city, uh, less expensive than Oxnard, a lot less expensive than Oxnard. <laughs> so I never wanted to, and then. Um, Last year, last year I uh, I decided to move my wife and kids here, start school here. I was still in Oxnard, and she she liked it. You know, she loved it. We got a nice place in the Temecula area, and uh, she loved it. And uh, now that uh, now that I came over here, I think I think that was the be uh, best thing I could have done because I still have my gym in Oxnard. I still go to Oxnard every day, but uh, this is more of a training camp for the brand and you know the kids that come from out of uh, out of the state or. Or, or like Brandon comes from Oxnard, this is a real training camp. You know, being in Oxnard, he'd go home to his wife. He's still, if the kids are eating, drinking soda, he'll probably take a sip. If the kids are, are eating hot Cheetos, he'll take a, a bite, you know what I mean? Here is, we have a, a chef, we have a conditioning coach, we have uh, the house where the fighters live, the gym right here. They could have fun by riding horses, they could have fun by going out for a, for a, for a walk if they want. It's, it's more of a private place and, uh, and I love it. I think this is the best thing I could have done. That's excellent. You said you have uh, a chef now and, and yes, stuff. Have you always had that here uh, in this, at this camp? Since or? I started here, yes. This chef's been here and, uh, and he not, he, he's not only working for Brandon, he also works for my whole team. So, so he's here year round. He's not, you know, I started my gym in June, but he'll be here year round because this is, uh, you know, we have so many fighters that year round we're going to be busy. So, you know, Brandon finished training, but then, you know, we start with Saul Rodriguez, or we start with Mikey, or we start with Chavez again, or whoever it is, you know, you know, he'll start. So year round he'll have, he'll have work. Well, it definitely seems like it's working. Brandon seems like he's almost on weight already. He's, he's very close to weight. You know, I, I, I'm not forcing him to get so low because uh, we're still sparring. This is our last week of sparring, and our sparring partners are very tough, very strong. So I still want him to be at a weight where he's still strong enough to be able to, to do sparring the way I want him to do it. But uh, the last few pounds that he's going to have, he'll lose them the week of the fight. You're yeah, bringing up sparring, Bradley seem to be have like maybe more of like a boxing style to this fight um he told me at the the press conference that if he just stood and stood and brawled with brandon that the fight wouldn't even last three rounds um so obviously he's planning on boxing do you have like sparring partners kind of specifically for boxing and then switch them out with Look, brawlers you know, or how does that he, work? Uh, he's gonna box and we know he's gonna box but can he do it for 12 rounds especially the way brandon's training cutting the ring i don't think so but we are preparing for a, for a fighter that's gonna box we, you know, main guy that you know that could box and could has a lot of tricks is Mikey, my brother. Mikey helped up Brandon a few times in sparring, and and that's the best sparring he could have got for a boxer. 
We, then we have uh, a few other kids, you know, like uh, Jonathan Navarro, who's a straight up brawler and is so strong that uh, that Brandon Brandon feels it. You know, and that, that's what I needed. Somebody that's stronger than Brandon, so he could be able to go in there against Bradley and feel Bradley light. Then we have uh, two other kids that are very good boxers. So we got we got we got very good. We got four sparring partners that are doing a tremendous job. When I tell them stand and exchange, they do it. When I tell them to box, they box beautiful. And uh, and Brandon's doing a great job. So I think you know a lot of a lot of our training camps. Uh, they think we got to bring sparring partners, and those guys are the ones that just take beatings. No, for me, no. For Brandon, we got to bring sparring partners that are gonna kick his ass if he if he lets him kick his ass. You know. Mostly everybody thinks sparring partners are guys that just go out there and take beatings. And that's not that's not the way I do my sparring. My sparring with Mikey is not easy for Brandon. With uh, with Jonathan, it's not easy for, for for Brandon. You know, Juanito Garcia from Arizona, it's not easy for Brandon. He's a good little boxer. And then we have uh, Jose Arambula, who's a really good boxer too. Very fast and good boxer. And it's not easy for Brandon. So those guys are trying to kick his ass. And if he, if he lays him, they will kick his ass. Because I tell them, kick his ass. So that's the sparring that we're getting for Brandon. So I think he's going to be in great shape. When he comes into Bradley, I think he's going to feel that Bradley is not as big or as strong as people think. Speaking of, uh, you brought up your brother. Um, how's he looking? What's uh, what's the latest uh, news with him? Mike is, Mike is training hard, man. Yesterday he did 12 rounds of sparring. He helped, uh, he helped uh, Navarro four rounds. He helped uh, Tanahara four rounds. And then he helped a, a guy that's fight uh, Oscar. Oscar's fighting next Friday, uh, so he did 12 rounds. So, you know, he's in, he's in the gym every day, man, training and sparring, but, you know, what's next? I have no idea. Right now, we don't know. And um, last question, you're also training now, Josecito Lopez. How's that going? Is Josecito here in Oxnard, or is he in, in Riverside? Josecito's here in Riverside. He lives in Riverside, so for him, it's a lot easier. He comes every day at 5.30. We train him. Uh, he's doing good. You know, his hand is still a little, a little sensitive from his last fight, so he's not throwing that hard. He's already throwing that left, but uh, but not as not as hard. And and it's actually a good good thing because I'm working on his left. He needs to to start feeling that. You know. Because he had a cast for so long and his hand was off for so long that right now when he's, it's very sensitive. So little by little we're getting. So that left is going to be, he's going to dominate that left. Something that he has never done. So I'm getting him to use that left a lot. Uh, and we're coming along slowly, little by little. Uh, he won't be fighting until next year anyway. So the rest of this year is going to be just just teach him new things and uh, and get him a better fighter, make him a better fighter. Well, hey, best of luck on, uh, on all your fighters and Thank especially uh, November 7th. Thank you Thanks for much. the time. Thank you.